Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to tie an Emerald Shiner pattern. Uh, this is a really good pattern for any of the Great Lakes tributaries during steelhead season since the Emerald Shiner is a pretty abundant bait source for uh, the fish. So we're going to get started with white 220D thread. The higher the number, usually the stronger the thread is. And uh, when you hook a fish, you want this jig to last long, so that's why we use a higher count, higher thread count. So we're just going to start off wrapping a base. Yeah, we're using this uh, stinger hook right here because it's good for larger streamer patterns rather than the normal streamer hook. Clip the tag end off. You want to go right about into the middle of the hook shank. That's what I found out works the best. Now we're going to take our flashaboo right here. I'd say take about, I usually say four or five strands works pretty good. Just double it, double that over. Double it over on the thread. tie it close to the hook shank right where we ended our last wraps and I usually just cut it right about a centimeter should be good then take our rabbit zonker not cross cut just normal strips and we line it up. We want it to go right to the eyelet almost. And then probably just go another two centimeters past the flash of you just cut. Then cut it diagonally so you get the flow. Rather if you just went straight across. So we have it now that it's lined up right here. You see where the hook shank is? You want to go straight up. Put your finger there. And right on the back side, put it through the hook shank. Then you're going to have to open up your vise. And just push it through. Push it right through. Put the hook back in the vise. Then we slide it up. And brush the fur forward so you can see there's a little split right there. And what we do is Just wrap it back to where the flashaboo is. Create the split again. You could use your little pliers here if you have them to hold it. And then just wrap it nice and tight. strong wraps so now you have everything flowing that way next thing you're going to do you can pretty much grab any type of yarn I just use plain white or you do some like this pearl color with sparkles So we use this just to cover up the hook shank so you don't see any silver, you just want it to be white. So what you're going to do is, let's get this focus up, wrap it 
around the thread, tighten it down, then move it up the well the camera cut out there, but what I was gonna say is you wrap your thread all the way down the hook shank. Not all the way, but just leave a centimeter because you gotta save some room for your eyes, uh the chenille and uh some marabou. So what you're gonna do is just wrap it. Keep on wrapping it down the hook shank. You wanna wrap it so just so you don't see that silvery shine or black shine or whatever color your hook is. Once you get it down there, you're just going to want to twist the thread and the yarn about three, four times. Just wrap it up again nice and tight. And then cut off the tag end. And after you wrap that nice and tight, you're going to want to bring down the rabbit you had left over. nice and straight and just wrap it real tight you're going to want to save a little room too just because you have some more stuff to add like the marabou the chenille and the eyes next you're going to get your dumbbell eyes I use a medium size just because it sinks a little better in the water. Now what, you, now what you're going to want to do with this is you're going to want to do a diagonal wrap which I'm going to show you how to do that. So you take your dumbbell eye let's see if we can focus real quick want to go like this across and under under the hook shank and over the eye. It's a little hard to show on camera, but just under and over. And then you're just you're just gonna wanna for this wrap stay above the hook shank at all times. It's a circular motion. circle once you get those wraps done you're then going to want to take your UV polar chenille use this just to build up its body to give it a little larger profile you want to take your thread back up to where you tied the rabbit in twist it around the thread Wrap it in nice and tight. And then move up back towards the eyes. Take your scissors. Snip it off. And then you're going to want to wrap it around. But the whole time, 
you're going to want to brush that material forward. Moving it up a little farther each time. Just keep brushing it forward. Once you think you got enough, twist it around the thread about two or three times. Make sure all the material is brushed forward. Just wrap it in nice and tight. And cut off the excess. And then this is where you bring in your marabou. You could do any color, but I like to keep it natural. So I use this olive green. Get a feather. Let's pluck. You're going to want to pluck the hard feathers off the bottom. Cut a little bit off there. Then you're just going to want to lay it flat down like this with the stem. The stem should be right on top. Stem right on top, just like that. Make sure your chenille is forward. And just wrap it in nice and tight again. And you could either just use your fingers or your hackle pliers. You're going to want to brush the feathers forward. And just keep wrapping it. It's really up to you how much you want to put on there. Don't you think you have enough? wrap it around like that brush it all forward then just wrap that marabou in there Take where you tied it in. Just cut off the extra material you have. And the last step is I would just like to use a little hackle at the end just so it could stand up in the water. If there's a lot of current, it'll just brush it right down, but with the hackle, it'll make it stand right up. The jigs will stand right up. You want to do the same thing with your marabou. You want to pluck some feathers off the bottom so you could expose the stem. Once you have the stem, just lay it down by the eyes again and tie it in there. Once it's tied in, just brush the feathers forward, wrap it around until you hit the eyes. You gotta do the same thing, twist it around the feather once or twice. Wrap it down nice and tight. Then cut off. Just cut off the excess feather. 
You can use it for the next tie you do. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Just the last step. Go to the hook eye. And if you have a whip finishing tool, you could use it. But I just do it with my hands since I don't have a tool. And yeah, that's how you make it. And the nice thing about this jig is you could always switch up the colors too. Like I have these like red eyes. You could always use red eyes and then either put red, pink, or purple marabou on. Or even for the flash boo under here, which we put on like the second step. You could put gold flash boo or green flash boo to match the marabou on top. And yeah, you could just experiment with different colors and see what the fish around your area like to eat.